In this section, our focus is going to be on partial fractions. Now, we're not going to be introducing this from scratch because partial fractions is introduced in the A-level maths course. So, uh, for this section, I am anticipating that you have covered that content for A-level maths before you progress on here. Our main focus is going to be on spotting that you need to perform partial fractions, usually in an integration setting. Now, the types of uh, partial fraction setups that I would expect you to know at this point is something like, for example, uh, let's say we had uh, 3x plus 5 over x plus 1 uh, x minus 2. I would expect you to know right that we can split that up into partial fractions where we have a over x plus 1 plus b over x minus 2 and I would expect you to know how to work out a and b. Okay, um, So that's uh, the most basic form. I would also expect you to be able to extend that to three linear terms in the denominator. So something like uh, 2x squared plus 5 over uh, 2x minus 3, uh, x plus 8, and um, let's say 5 take away x, for example. And that's going to be equivalent to a over 2x minus 3 plus b over x plus 8 plus c over 5 minus x. And I would expect you to be able to work out a, b, and c. Okay. Now, they are the first two types. The third type that I will expect you to have met would be something like this, where you've got maybe 3x uh, minus 2 over, and you're going to have x plus 5 and then you've got x take away 1 squared. So one of the terms, linear terms, in the denominator is squared, and knowing how to deal with that. So we should know that we need to split that up into a over x plus 5, okay, to deal with that bracket, plus we're going to need b over x take away 1, plus c over x minus 1 squared. And then be able to find the a, b, and c from that. Okay? So these are the three types that you should know up to this point. Okay? And this allows you, you know, if you wanted to kind of extend this further to, say, four brackets in the denominator, then you can see how this pattern is emerging. You know how to deal with these terms here. In the next video, uh, we are going to learn how we're going to deal with something that looks like this. So let's say we had 5x take away 7 over x plus 1 times x squared plus 1, where we're going to have a term in the denominator that is quadratic that cannot factorise into two brackets, allowing you to then perform something like this. OK, so for this type of problem, we're going to have to uh, do something different in order to work with it. OK, and in each of these cases, we are going to be focused on primarily, as I said, trying to integrate them. So if you had a problem where it's integrate this or integrate this or integrate this or integrate this, you would know, ah, right, first job is to perform partial fractions um, and then I can integrate each individual term. So in the next video, we're going to introduce how we're going to deal with situations like that. And then in the, in the section, we're going to go on to further examples.